Hey everybody, Ginger on Wheels here again. I am out today with the Inicum Light 2 scooter and today is going to be the braking testing and acceleration testing. I have got my very advanced GPS tracker right here that can track exactly how fast I accelerate up from zero to the top speed in the three modes. So I think speed one goes like six miles per hour and speed two is 14 miles per hour and speed three is like 20 miles per hour. The speedo reads 21, but we're going to see how true that actually is. I think it's going to be a very interesting video, nice and short, but it'll accompany the full review of this scooter later on very nicely. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, I recalibrated my app here and now it's going to be measuring the speed in one mile per hour increments because I realized that a lot of these speeds don't land exactly in even speed increments. So. We're gonna do starting speed one, the app is reset. GPS tracker is tracking. Let's go, we're starting now. Very uneventful start, four miles per hour, five. So this is like jogging pace, basically. With me on it, anyway. I am 190 pounds for the record, and I'm 6'2", but I'm squatting down a little bit, so you can see the speedo. Six miles per hour? Okay, let's stop and see what the exact GPS tracker says. But it looks like we maxed out around five miles per hour and then we did get to six, but after a good long ways, I guess that was like a little downhill section. But yeah, it looks like 6.37 seconds up to five miles per hour for speed one. Let's reset the tracker, go into speed two and run the exact same test. I'm gonna buckle my helmet for this one. We go. You do have to get the scooter a little bit of a kickstart, but nothing like the 9 bot Max. You have to actually get up to three miles per hour with that scooter. But this one is just a little nudge, and then you're good. Yep, 13 miles per hour. Okay, let's check the stats. From a stop down here, 0 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12 were verified up to 14 seconds, it looks like. But as you can see, mostly more than half the time was from 9 to 12, so it slows down considerably near the top end. All right, and now the test we've all been waiting for. We are resetting the tracker, we're in speed three, and we're gonna see what the maximum capabilities of the scooter are. Here we go from a stop. All right, we're up to 12 already. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Can we get the 21? Can we get the 20? Oh, there's 21. So yes, if you're wondering, the scooter actually does go 21 and I'm pretty chubby. I'm no skinny person. You can get this thing up pretty quick if you're a light person, if you weigh 150 pounds or something. I imagine it would be pretty fast. Okay, so here are the results in speed three. Zero to one, two, three, we're all level. Only took a second to get up to four miles per hour. And four seconds up to 11 miles per hour. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 miles per hour was the actual top speed. And that took 18 seconds to get there. So you can see more than half the time was getting from 16 to 20. Slows down very considerably at the top again, but it does get there, 20 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for a stock little scooter like this. Okay, this is the absolute official brake testing in speed three mode. Got the app reset. Okay, from the bicycle arrow, stopping. Whew, God, this thing stops fast. What was that? 18 miles per hour to stop in 1.41 seconds. So I stopped at the arrow when my front tire passed the arrow as close as I could to right here. So let's measure how many feet that was. 18 feet, roughly. I think seven, closer to 17 feet. But um, the nine bot max was 25 feet. So that's what you get when the scooter's 10 pounds less and it has front and rear brakes that you can pull. 
The 9Bot Max has brakes that you can pull, but they're only on the front, and the rear brake is an electronic brake. So I give the brakes to the Inokim Light 2, definitely. All right, guys, that was it for me on the little Inokim Light 2 scooter. Thanks for watching the acceleration and brake testing video. Uh, it turns out that the brakes are way better on this, and it does get to a faster top speed than the 9Bot Max, so just like I suspected it would. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more. Thanks.